The next power technique is soul power. The one sentence secret, Master Shah, she is in soul mind body medicine. To request healing from the inner souls of your body, organs and cells, as well as from the outer souls of holy beings and souls of nature to heal any aspect of life. Now, what Master Shah is saying is we can invoke the soul world, okay? Uh, Master Shah, in one of his videos uh, at the, the Secret Knock, it's, which is on YouTube, he explains when you look at the power of a human being compared to the power of a whole ocean, um, it's, you know, it doesn't, doesn't compare. But Master Shah is saying, we live on one planet. That's only one ocean. So with soul power, he says, by invoking the soul of all of our inner souls, as well as the souls of all of our spiritual fathers, mothers, and ascended masters, as well as the divine and Tao, and heaven, Mother Earth, the whole soul of Mother Earth, oceans, rivers, mountains, forests, Mother Earth and countless planets, stars, galaxies and universes. And we use their soul, mind and body, their soul, which is soul, heart and mind. And we use their, what he calls Jing Chi Shen, which is a soul, heart and mind is soul. Mind, which is consciousness, energy, and matter of all souls throughout countless universes. And we ask them to build our spiritual foundation. Now, can you imagine how powerful this is when it's applied? And this is why uh, so many people have such incredible gains and tangible experiences from Master Shah's teachings including myself. Science calls the soul message. And, you know, Master Shah teaches message healing. That's what it is. We're changing the message. Um, soul blockages is negative karma. Now, we clear that by asking for forgiveness for past life mistakes and this, the mistakes in this life, offering forgiveness and saving others in a nutshell. We can self-clear our karma. When we look at Dr. Emoto, and I'll show you a couple of videos from him, he shows the power of message and its, its influence on water. In this experiment, Dr. Emoto's researchers used a glass of Tokyo tap water, which seems to be unable to form crystals, and performed a test. Participants placed the glass in the center of their circle and sent gratitude to the water. Studying the water under the microscope, they started to see a crystal formation. Increased magnification showed the symmetry of the crystal, revealing how the tap water was transformed by the gratitude sent by the group. The crystal continued to grow, expressing the energies received. The tap water from Tokyo finally produced a beautiful crystal. It was interesting to see children so completely astonished after they witnessed the difference in Tokyo tap water before and after they sent the prayer. Their mothers were kind of skeptical before this experiment. But afterwards, they said, we really have to believe it. So it's not only saying, I love you, and giving the message of love through our voice that changes the water crystals when he freezes the water to more harmonious, beautiful, and geometric um, shapes 
it's not just from words, it's from thoughts, and it's also from um, actual, if he has a bottle of water, even sticking a sticker on the bottle that says love. It doesn't matter whether it's wrote in English, Japanese, Chinese, whatever language. When he puts it on, it carries the message of love. Therefore, influences the water. Okay? Now, this is very important because this is what Master Shah is actually doing, creating these incredible calligraphies. The message behind all of his calligraphies is love, forgiveness, Tao, compassion, light. Um, he's, he's writing many beautiful things, but they're, they're always sacred, sacred pieces of art that carry the message. So when you sit in front of them and meditate on them, you embody it. You literally, when you chant it, we'll go into sound power, but the soul, the message behind the calligraphies is changing us. And I uh, saw so William Henry, he says that in a lot of Buddhist traditions, they would look at pieces of art of Buddhas, or they would look at the Buddha statue, and just by observing it, they embody it. The message behind the, the song of peace harmony is universal unity, is to bring love, peace, harmony within and without. So the message behind love, peace, harmony, the soul of love, peace, harmony is so powerful. When we look at spiritual transmissions, which I've briefly touched on, Master Shah has the authority and he's got the authority because of the service he offers to humanity. He says that whether you're Jesus whether you're Buddha, whether you're Guan Yin, power is given. Power is given from the soul world, from the divine. So any power Master Shah has right now, it's been given because of his selfless service to humanity. And let's face it, what is he doing? He is spreading love, forgiveness, compassion, unity, enlightenment, longevity, um, teachings and wisdom and blessings, okay? So he is offering so much service all the time. He is supported by the divine. He is supported by the soul world, by all the top saints. The power is given. He has the authority and has given all souls throughout countless planets, stars, galaxies and universes Love, peace, harmony, spiritual transmissions. So when I do the meditation in later videos that I'll attach to this playlist, you can put it to the test. Practice love, peace, harmony without invoking the soul power of all of the love, peace, harmony treasures that are downloaded to Wanling, which is also, Wanling means all souls as well as the, you know, the saints and the, the divine and Tao, do a meditation without invoking them, and then do a meditation with including inv invoking them. And really get in tune with the body and see what you feel. The difference is quantum. It's huge. So now imagine, again, at least 1.5 billion people around the world, together invoking soul power and sending the message of love, peace, harmony, and embodying the message of love, peace, harmony, forgiveness, compassion, humility, and whatnot. They are all, all these conditions stem from love. When we feel love and inner peace, it, we reflect it throughout the whole, instantaneously. That is the holographic principle. So, this is the power of soul power. Okay? This is the power of 
applying soul power with the love peace harmony movement and the last power technique is sound power um, stay tuned for this this is beautiful especially with the great work from Michael Challenger thank you